Hello, it's Dawn here from Dawn's Inspirations. I wanted to thank you all for your messages and emails of support when I brought Scrapberries kits to Create and Craft TV yesterday. I had a lovely time and it was great to bring the kits to you. The fairy tale kit that I'm showing you here became a sellout on the show, but obviously I know lots of you that have bought it would still like to see some ideas of what you could do with that kit. The design team both here in the UK and abroad have made some beautiful samples for the show, so I wanted to share them with you to give you some ideas of what you can do with your Scrapper's fairy tale kit if you bought it at the show yesterday. So let me go ahead and show you some of the samples that are here. I'd like to thank my team here in the UK, the Creative Jays, and they're called the Creative Jays because they're made up of three ladies, Jenny, Jean and Joe. And then I'd also like to thank the design team, Scrapberry's design team from abroad, and that's Olga, Romani and uh, Maya for also posting me their card samples over for me to use on the Create and Craft show to dress the set and show the customers. The, this collection is beautiful and there's so many different elements to this collection and this can give so many different looks to very feminine girly cards right the way through to cards that could be used for men as well because the colour palette is so unusual. The Scrapbridge papers are a lovely quality and the 12 by 12 papers come in 180 GSM. This fairy tale paper collection is actually double sided papers so you're getting even more for your money with this paper collection. You get beautiful stamps as well and as you can see they stamp out beautifully even on textured card. The girls have used the stamps as well and coloured in, in the images which is nice as well. The 6x6 paper pad has exactly the same Im images as the 12x12 12 12, but the images have been shrunk down so to put onto little cards they give a perfect look and the dimensions still go really well. As you can see from the cards the design team have put together they are all so totally different and this is what I like about them. You can get so many different looks from this paper collection and that's why I wanted to just bring you this quick video just to show you the different cards that you could be making with your fairy tale kit from Scrapberries. I think you will enjoy using it in so many different ways and getting so many different looks from it. I know the design team have really enjoyed working with these paper collections from Scrapberries and I'm sure you will too. You know from making dimensional cards that stand out, I think you can see that there, to also making scrapbook layouts. Let me just bring some of these scrapbook layouts in here that the design team have also done. You know, there's so many um, different things going on in this scrapbook layout to fussy cutting out and with the gems and the pearls. The gems and the pearls are beautiful. You get 120 in each pack and they're three different sizes. So that gives you so much more to be using on your scrapbook layouts. But as you can see from these scrapbook um, layouts that I'm just showing you three here, there's so many different looks you can get from the one kit. And they just make beautiful um, layouts every time. You don't have to think too much at all because obviously the colour palette has been sorted out for you by the designers that have actually created the papers. You can also make little gifts with um, your Scrapberries papers. This was one that was shown on the show yesterday, showing that I've made a pack of little notelets, four cards, and then I've put them through the embossing folders that you can get from Scrapberries, and they take that perfectly, and then that's one of the little cut parts from the 6x6 pad. But by using the embossing folders, I've also gone ahead and embossed the envelope and the corner at the front. So that doesn't interfere with where you put your address, but it just gives a finishing touch to the cards but this little note card you know if you're doing things for charity you know in here you've got four different images so you've got four different looks so it's just showing you with your scrap your scrapberries papers you've got so much in there that you can make gifts as well 
as just cards and scrapbook layouts. You can also use them for your altered art projects. This is a beautiful heart here that's been done by Jean, but there's enough papers in the collection to also cover the back and the paper quality is so nice and thick that you can fussy cut out and it's not a problem and you can mat and layer and put things onto your papers and they don't damage them at all. I only got round to demonstrating one of the um, cards yesterday on the show and that was this one here. There is a YouTube video on my um, YouTube channel to see how to make this so if you didn't watch the show you can still learn how to make this card but there was two more cards that I never got round to demonstrating on the show because everything went so quickly <coughs> excuse me um, this was a double easel card that I had already prepared to demonstrate um, so what I'll do is I'll do a quick short YouTube video on how to make this card so if you too have bought the fairy tale collection you can make this card along with me as well. Another card that I hadn't got round to demonstrating was this card here and this is what I call a gift in a card. It's inspired by Jenny's um, 3D one here that I've seen and I've done it as a double gate that opens out. So if I op take it over on the back just to show you, even on the back side I've actually matted and layered the fair is double sided and you can do that with the papers that you get so you get loads of paper in there but then when we open it out on the front as you can see the card just keeps giving because there's so much here in the card and then in the middle of the card I've got a little card here that I've just put a gift card in and that slots in that front pocket there and then there's a little card in here you can write a message in happy birthday message and then you've got another little bookmark tag card here that someone can just keep so on the inside of here you've got a crisscross double pocket that you can pop these elements inside and you've got a gift and a card all in one with this card so again I had everything prepared for this this to, um, demonstration but we never got around to demonstrating it on the show so what I will do is a short video of how to make this card so you too can make this card if you've got the paper collection so if you haven't subscribed to my website if you subscribe to my website www.dawnsinspirations.com I'll uh, let, let you know as soon as the videos go live so you too can make these two cards along with me and I think you will agree that the design team have done a brilliant job with all the samples that we brought on the show yesterday and I hope this little video um, of walking through all these samples that the girls have brought has helped inspire you of cards that you can make with your Scrapberries fairy tale collection. I'm Dawn from Dawn's Inspirations and thank you for watching.